we can graph functions and some very important applications of calculus revolve around the graphs of functions. The graph of a function is all the points of the form input, comma, output. So, for example, um, f of x equals x squared. Um, when your input is a two, your output is a four. So if you are going to graph this, the point two comma four would be on the graph. If we graphed all of the points of the form input comma output, we get the parabola. And just as I said, the point two comma four is on the graph, as is the point three comma nine and one comma one and so on. Every function can be graphed, but not every graph is the graph of a function. Here's the graph of a circle, x squared plus y squared equals four. And this graph is not the graph of a function. How do I know that? Well, let me highlight two points on the graph. Zero, two is on there, and zero, negative two is on there. Now remember, if this is a graph of a function, the points have the form input, comma, output. So in both these cases, zero is the input, and then we have two different outputs. And the one thing I said, about a function, a function is just a rule. There's only one condition it has to satisfy. A single input cannot have multiple outputs. This does not. represent a function. So circles in general aren't functions. If I go back to this graph, notice that the points I selected to illustrate that this curve is not a function are on the same vertical line. They're both on the y axis. That's an example of the vertical line test. If any vertical line you draw touches the graph more than once, then it is not the graph of a function. I've said that there are important applications of calculus to this involving functions, let's lay the groundwork for one of them. A function is increasing on an interval if for any two numbers in the interval, if the first number is less than the second, then f of the first number is less than f of the second number. And this word is well chose 
functions are increasing, literally, if their graphs increase as we go from left to right. Similarly, we can talk about decreasing functions. Functions. And I know I'm going through this material very quickly. We'll remind ourselves of this when we get to the actual calculus stuff. But a function is decreasing if one number being less than the other means f of the smaller number is greater than f of the bigger number. And again, decreasing, I mean, the graph literally is decreasing as we go from left to right. And a major application of calc to this is determining when graphs are increasing and when graphs are decreasing.